Look at that. There's a crocodile um, on the river cam or crossing cam. And uh, isn't that a beastly looking beast? Now, I've got a question for everyone at home. Hashtag Safari Live on Twitter if you know the answer. What is the major difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Uh, a crocodile and an alligator. What are the major differences between a crocodile and an alligator? I'm going to give you a hint. You see those ridges on his head and then going down into his neck. Uh, that is a bit of a clue. Now, of course, crocodiles are one of the only reptiles in the world that are able to, to a degree, uh, change their or maintain their own body temperature. They do bask um, to, to, to warm up, but they still are capable of doing a bit of a thermoregulation themselves, which puts them on a sort of different side to the rest of the reptiles that are very, very reliant on the sun. Now, the big thing is, you must realize about these crocodiles, is that they have the ability to only feed once or twice a year when the wildebeest are there. Oh, it seems like we have, have our first one says the nose. Uh, well, the nose is, of course, of a slightly different shape, but that's not what I'm looking for, Jody. Um, so good try, but uh, it's, it's more to do with something under the, under the outer layer. Now, the other interesting thing about crocodiles, and it hasn't been, well, it has been proven, uh, not scientifically, but in, in just what happens with Nile crocodiles, uh, is that, um, and it, it has been scientifically proven with saltwater crocodiles, porosis, um, or the Australian saltwater crocodile, is that they are able to learn, which is a very, very, very interesting thing. So evolution has given them the ability to learn. Uh, it takes them a bit longer than mammals, but they can learn very carefully. And of course, these crocodiles have learned that these cro crossing points are very, very important. Oh, Jared. We need to give Jared uh, we need to give Jared some, some, some camera tips there, Dave, about smooth zooming. I'm only teasing, of course, Jared. We really appreciate the help. There we go. There's our nice fat Nile crocodile on the outside. Well, it means as crocodiles smile and show their teeth and alligators don't. And our alligators can show their teeth as well. Um, and as I said, it's something to do with those ridges along its back and on its head is the real, uh, the real trick. One of the major differences, there are obviously quite a few differences. Um, we don't get any alligators in, in, in Africa being one <laughs> and only crocodiles. We've got oh, three major species of crocodiles, uh, the Nile crocodile, uh, the dwarf crocodile, and uh, the slender snouted crocodile. There are, are subspecies off those particular uh, crocodile species as well. It also looks like quite an old crocodile, um, probably in the region of 70, 60 to 70 years old. Not the biggest one at Dusty Crossing. Ah, Liss, well done. Liss is talking about the bony plates behind the eyes, and alligators do not have them. Well, alligators have almost no bone in all of their plates, so all those little ridges and bumps you see on the top of a crocodile there's a bone plate underneath there, where the alligators have a cartilage. Now, uh, the crocodiles have those bone plates, mostly in defense uh, from each other. During the breeding season, it can be quite a violent affair. So well done, Liz. It is the bony plates that separate, well, one of the things that separate the crocodiles from alligators. Crocodiles evolved into their current form about 8 million years ago, not the uh, hundreds of millions of years that people often think. Uh, Crocodiles have been around for hundreds of million years, but in this current form, um, Nile crocodiles being one of the oldest in salt waters, um, and about 8 million years that they have been in this exact form. Now, they are, of course, the supreme aquatic, inland aquatic predator in Africa. And uh, this, I think this crocodile wishes there was a bit more sun, uh, and maybe it wishes it had my bright orange shuka. But, of course, uh, it doesn't. So it, it's out of the water, which is quite strange. Normally when the, it, it's cold like it is this morning, uh, the, the water is a couple of degrees warmer than the, the outside. But maybe this crocodile knows that the sun is on the way. Uh, 